Hey guys, Joni here from Hampton Roads Real Producers with another of our amazing business partners. Today we have Miss Carrie Williams from Atlantic Bay Mortgage. Carrie, say hi to the gang. Hey there. How's everybody? So, so good to have you with us. I know things have been crazy in the lending world. Tell us yeah. a little bit about you know, your business. Tell our viewers a little bit about your business. Yeah, I've been, I think this is my 18th year. I've been with Atlantic Bay for seven of those years. Before that, I was with Wells Fargo for seven years, and then a smaller correspondent lender called First Horizon Home Loans. So I uh, really love this company and what they bring to the local market. Uh, and for us here at Atlantic Bay, it's it's all about the clients. And so I really try to cater towards the buyer and to the agents and you know, make it something a little bit unique because mortgages can be very daunting and scary and overwhelming for people to take out. So anything I can do to ease that process, make it feel a little bit more friendly and, you know, and, and keep, keep that relationship going, I think is the most important thing. Yes, and all of the realtors who actually recommended you to me at the start said exactly that about you. Uh, okay. They said she's just the best. Our clients always really appreciate when we when we put her in front of Carrie. So, um, tell us a little bit about your journey into this field. Were there any people of influence, or is there any fun factor to the journey that yeah. brought you here? I grew up in real estate. My father sold real estate for probably 30 some years. Um, really never had any intentions of going into this industry. When I was in high school, I had planned to attend college and you know, be in marketing and, and had the whole set idea of what my life was gonna look like. And of course that changes pretty rapidly. And I was working for United Airlines in Northern Virginia and working long hours. And this is pre 9-11. And I was not doing so well at going to school and juggling a full-time job. And my father said, you know, you should maybe look at real estate. And so I did for um, quite a while. I worked up there at a REMAX firm in Northern Virginia and then um, decided to move to Hampton Roads uh, sort of unexpectedly. And when I did, I got into the mortgage side of things through, um, through our in-house lender at the REMAX office. So thought I would do that for a year or two just to get familiar with the area and then get my real estate license down here and really just fell in love with doing mortgages and and that side of the business and that was 2002 so um the rest is history but I think growing up you know where I you know it was very commonplace oh dad's gonna be late he's out with clients yeah it's just something you know it was sort of an something that came pretty natural to me because I think there was a, it was a familiar uh, business to me all my life. And I also think knowing his perspective helps me have a better perspective on how to uh, really do business with agents and builders and clients because I've seen his side of it. I've seen his complaints about mortgage lenders and, and so I've always tried to strive to be you know, the best that I can because of that. Got to stay off the complaint list. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Carrie, I know the answer to this question, but tell the viewers. You know, our 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 realtors, and real estate agents that we work with, along with you know a consumer. There's a lot of choices they have when it comes to the lenders they work with. What sets you apart? What's your uh, what what why choose Carrie Williams? Uh, you know. I've tried to develop what I call and an more of like a concierge level service uh, with the client, you know, try to really make them feel from day one special, uh, excited about the process, especially when it comes to the first time home buyers. I send out a nice little care package with uh, items for them for packing up their home, roll of tape, marker, packing list stickers, everything. And that's, you know, kind of a little bit of a unexpected gift that they get right within the first week of getting pre-qualified. And I try to brand it, you know, with the agents as well. Um, you know, we, we stay in constant communication with the clients and the agents throughout the process. They only deal directly with me as a client. So I'm not handing them off to someone and not to say that that doesn't work for other people. But for me, I, that's what I enjoy is talking with the clients, helping them through tricky situations, 
getting to know them, their kids, their family. And that's what makes this real for me and, and beneficial and rewarding. So I think that those items and those, you know, put together just makes for a very cohesive process. And so I find that most agents say, you know, this has been easy. You've you know, you communicate to me before I have to communicate to you in most circumstances. And whatever we do to keep the stress level low and in a very stressful time is beneficial. And so the mortgage part of it, I really try to make that be, you know, uh, not the, the center of the attention because I want it to go through smoothly. Fantastic. And that's pretty much what people were telling me. <laughs> <laughs> So, so tell our viewers a little bit something about you that they might not know. What, what's, uh, what, what's part of your fun and unique factors? Ah, well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I have two kids and a husband that's in the Navy, so my life is very busy with that. Um, I, I would say that I, you know, I used, to, I mean, I, I used to be an active runner, avid runner. Um, I can't say that so much since COVID-19 <laughs> because I have limited resources with my kids and my husband being deployed. But, you know, that's that's always been a passion of mine is being active and, and playing sports. Um, people might not know, I'm very, very much involved with um, CHKD, the Children's um, Hospital here in Norfolk. And I belong to a fundraiser group. They have their circle groups, which make up the hospital, um, that like founding group, which is the King's Daughters, and we raise money and awareness for the hospital. I led that group a couple years ago. I'm still involved in that group, and now I serve on the board of directors for the King's Daughters as part of um, the hospital uh, founding um, organization. So a lot of people don't know that that's my involvement. My sister had um, pediatric uh, brain cancer. So it's always been something that is dear, near and dear to me to be able to support. The fact that we even have a local children's hospital is just amazing. And then, you know, whatever I can do to help support it is, is very important to me. Fantastic. That's terrific. I, I know a lot of folks in circles uh, locally. So they're, they're doing some great stuff out there. So, um, Carrie, how has, you know, these are strange times we live in, you know, this, this COVID-19 has, you know, caused a lot of pivoting in the way we live and the way we do business, the way we do life. How has it affected you and your business? Lots of different ways. Um, it's, uh, that first week was a very turbulent week, the week of March the 16th um, was an extremely turbulent week for our industry. There was a lot of uncertainty. There's still some uncertainty on certain things, but the, the way the market went up and then went down was just a little bit uh, overwhelming and stressful, one could say. But we've been able to kind of um, get a little bit more of a footing since then. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm, we're in an industry that's extremely busy right now whether it be purchases or refinances. So I can't, you know, say that it's been a an, an truly negative impact on me because we're um, able to still lend, we're able to still do most loans that we were doing before. And, it, you know, I still come to the office. I'm actually in my office. Most people don't. It's just me and my manager <laughs> that only come here. But I just feel better to get, I think because I'm home and have no spouse, I need to get out. <laughs> so, uh, but th there are some restrictions and guideline changes uh, that have come into place because of the, the amount of forbearances that the market is seeing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've had a couple people where they were in like maybe the, um, you know, they were a hairstylist or a restaurant um, server that have had to put their, you know, dreams of home ownership on hold uh, mm -hmm. because of their income, you know, has been dramatically reduced. So you've seen situations like that, but overall, you know, most the buyers are really, you know, out there and, and they're still buying. And if anything, right before COVID-19 happened, some of my clients were like one of six and eight offers on a property. And it was just becoming very daunting because they were just in such competition. So the competition level has come down a little bit. So that's been helpful. Maybe they're one of two or three offers, which is still crazy. So that I think there's a lot of people that have maybe put the brakes on buying or even selling their home until some of this is resolved. 
but overall, I think, you know, we've, we as an industry have navigated ourselves through it and come up with solutions to kind of keep things moving forward. And then certainly certain guidelines will open up a little bit more. I mean, you know, there's, there's still a couple of programs that are a little bit restrictive right now, but overall, I think it's, we've, we've um, evolved just like most people have. Terrific. So good to hear. So good to talk with you. Um, if you could give our viewers, which are mostly top real estate agents and, and a lot of, you know, folks buying and selling homes of their own, any advice during this time, what would that look like? What would you say? Uh, you know, I think from the real estate side of things is that just make sure the buyers and the age, and, you know, there's, again, it goes back to communication. If everybody's on the same page and everybody understands what has to be done as far as what might be obligated from the buyer, maybe an extra month of reserves for their qualifying or, hey, we need to verify your employment right up to the day of closing. As long as everybody's, you know, on the same page and on board with the process, I think that makes a difference. From a listing standpoint, I think it's really important that the listing agents are reaching out to the lenders that they get the pre-approval letter for just to make sure because with guideline changes or with you know buyers falling into these situations where they had you know income that got reduced it's it's just always good to have your due diligence done to say hey you know xyz lender these guys are legit right you know everything's up to date you you talked to them recently and this isn't an old pre approval letter uh, and and two if if they're not you know it's always good to get a second opinion too right now because every lender has Put different restrictions or guidelines in place based off of their interpretation of what's going on. So a second opinion is always um, a great idea if, we're, if you feel like you're not getting the results or the answers that you were hoping for. Good advice. Good advice. So um, where can our viewers find you if they want to know more about you or want help with their lending needs? Yeah, uh, they can always call me. Uh, my cell phone is the very best way to reach me. And then I have a website that they can go to. It's just kerrywilliams.net. Uh, pretty easy. They can get some information. Uh, Zillow, if, if anybody is just curious to you know, see a lot of reviews, um, I think I have over 90 reviews on Zillow. So, uh, and they, you know, they can get some information there about me as well uh, if they're you know, ever had any questions. So. Terrific. And what is the cell phone number? Yeah, it's 757-870-4614. Fantastic. Carrie, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. This is great. It's just great to hang out with you and uh, get to know a little bit more about you. And uh, very glad we're able to share your, a little bit of your story with our viewers. Carrie, by the way, was featured uh, recently <laughs> in Hampton Roads Real Producers. I'll show it real, real quick as one of our power moms. So there's her two beautiful children and um, great story there. So those of you who get the magazine, please read it. And um, we look forward to seeing you at our next event, which yeah. by the way, is actually going to happen relatively sooner than I thought it would. Oh, wonderful. Um, I will be sharing some information with you about that as soon as we stop the recording here. Okay. So, uh, to our viewers, thanks for hanging out with us, and um, we'll see you soon.